this is a video aimed at higher admin and IT and this example I'm going to use comes from the old higher admin course what higher admin was before it became known as higher admin and I think the reason I'm using these old materials well it's good practice and a lot of the functions are the same you're expected to do a lot of what you were expected to do before in the previous hire and I want to look specifically at calculations and queries so using a query to essentially do an equation a little bit like what you might be expected to do in a spreadsheet but without the formula uh, build up to that as we go through so if you happen to have the old hire um, files on your school server these will maybe come in handy for practice so aggregate functions we're going to use a database to try and calculate someone's wages so what we have here is a pretty simple pretty straightforward database even you might think it might even look a little bit like a spreadsheet we've got uh, first name surname the week of the month the hours they work and their hourly rate so we've got people's names we've got you know, john smith andrew black christine holmes stephen king so on and so on and so on and we've got the week number hours worked and hourly rate you might even notice that there are some duplicates we've got what you worked in week one and what you worked in week two and so we're looking collectively to, to try and see what these people earned and we are going to do that stage by stage and what we do want to look at first of all is not to work out a total wage but to work out how much how many hours they worked per week so we'll do that via a query so let's go to create and query wizard if we look back at the instructions all I want you to put in is surname from the wages table so let's put in our surname and my mistake it also wants us to put in hours work as you can just see here in the table so let's add surname and hours work then next we want a detail one we just query let's call this um call it total hours work then we'll modify the design which is all important because that's where we, we work things out and then let's finish that now next 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 we click on a tool that's maybe quite similar to spreadsheets and it's awesome maybe call it the total button maybe call the funny e the greek e whatever you may call it you click on this one here and it adds as you can see another layer to our query layout click on the drop down drop down arrow and you want to sum you want to add up the total hours that each individual will have worked so we're grouping it by surname and we want to work out how many hours each person worked over the course of the week now let's click on our exclamation mark and run our query and we can see that it identifies the only where five people working although there were 10 entries and it works out how many hours each person works over the course of the week now you could if you wanted to break this down even further if you're asked to and look for a specific person you're asked to try and find in the question uh, king so we run again and we get the specific person and the number of hours they worked you'll find especially at higher a lot of the time when you're working through queries it might be a case of trial and error you might have to just try each thing maybe one by one to see maybe where you're going wrong it'll become more apparent when working with more variables how confusing it can possibly be more videos to follow on using calculations and queries thanks a lot